What's going on traders? Welcome to Investing Trends where we talk about the latest news and trades on trending stocks. Today let's talk about Corsair Gaming, ticker symbol CRSR. I have been keeping an eye on the stock as it has been trending reaching its all-time high of $51.37 on November the 24th. That is more than a month ago now. The stock has been on my watch list as I watched it explode to its all-time high but now it calmed down a bit trading around $35 per share. So in this video, we will go over the products and services the company provides, its financial health, and why I think this is a good time to buy the stock. As I have been watching the stock since the IPO on September 2020, the stock has performed very, very well and the velocity of the price was scary good. I felt uncomfortable to recommend the stock when the stock gained day after day reaching its all-time high of $51. Who wants to buy a stock at its all-time high? Unless I have absurd conviction, I generally don't buy stocks at its all-time high and wait for a pullback. And I recommend to you to do the same. There is always a pullback. It's just a matter of how much. So I kept an eye on it and now I believe it is coming to a good price level for you to start thinking about buying the stock. If you like these type of videos, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. That way you don't miss out on more actionable videos like this one. Just click on the subscribe button below this video. Let's quickly check out the stock performance so far of Corsair Gaming. So today it bounced from its low and is trading higher at $37.40. It's up 1.46% today. For the week, the stock is trading pretty much break even with a slight negative of 1.3%. For the month, it's down 11%. By looking at the three months, it's up a whopping 72%. And for the year, we see that it's up 120%. Overall, the stock took a dip in the recent month, but very, very strong performance since its IPO. Again, one of my reasons for the many and several reasons is that you're not buying the stock at its all-time high. The stock cools down a bit, and this is when you buy the dip for good companies. So the next logical question to ask is what makes this a good company? The company is known to make specialized gear for gamers and streamers. It owns three brands called Elgato, Origin, and Scuff Gaming. Here you can see that the company provides an end-to-end -end product for all the gaming and streaming needs, including keyboards, headsets, computer cases, complete systems, and more. This is a good representation of all the Corsair products that can be utilized for a complete user experience. The next important slide I want to share with you is this one about the industry. The gaming industry, the esports, is getting more and more popular as more tournaments are being held and those tournaments are being broadcasted where more viewers are watching them. And if more viewers are watching these games, then more advertisers will pile on. Therefore, more investments and capital are being thrown into this market in which Corsair will profit and benefit as they provide both the equipment for hardcore gaming and streaming products. The company is well positioned. But what about the competition? Its competitors. The Corsair brand is very, very well known and its brand reputation is solid. Gamers and computer experts know that its products offer high performance that is powerful and durable. Plus, it offers users a lot of customization and creative freedom giving each gamer his own way to express themselves. Here is a good comparison of how Corsair stands relative to its competition. Logitech and Razer are their closest and top competitors. Let's start from the bottom section where Corsair is slated as number one in the gaming components and systems category for the total US market share. Whereas for gamer and creator peripherals, they are deemed to be in the second, third, and fourth place. A company ranked number one in market share can be concerning since you may be concerned about how much more it can grow. However, in this case for gaming and streaming, the market as a whole is increasing and expanding so the number one ranking is actually a great case as the new gamers and streamers return to Corsair when starting out their journey to play the game and publish content. Plus, the company ranking relatively high in the peripheral section is very promising as they continue to win market share away from Logitech and Razer to gain more revenue and profits. Speaking of revenue and profits, what stood out to me about the company is how healthy the financial is. I was surprised and impressed by the revenue numbers, the growth of their revenue, 
along with their EBITDA margins and that it is a profitable company. A profitable company on a meme stock, a trending stock, is rare these days. Check it out guys, their revenue is solid with 17% growth rate from 2018 to 2019 and the company is expecting net revenue to be in the range of $1.6 billion. That is going to be almost 60% growth rate from the 1 billion sales done in 2019. Phenomenal growth rate. Gross margins are healthy and increasing as well. I really like the graph on the right side, which shows how the gross margins are improving over time. And these improvements in gross margins are challenging to achieve. Now, some investors worry about their debt and that the company has a total debt of $370 million. Yes, the company does carry debt and investors may be scared about it and it is a fair point. But my perspective is that some debt is actually healthy for a company and encourage companies to utilize debt since cost of debt is generally lower than equity. If you have a finance background, you should understand this concept. A moderate amount of debt is encouraged and seeing how their debt to EBITDA ratio is 2.2x doesn't bother me as I've seen companies with much higher debt and where the ratio reaches 4x. It all depends on the industry that the company is in, right? As Corsair is growing tremendously, I am not concerned about its debt levels. Finally, let's do a quick technical analysis on the stock chart. Looking at Corsair's daily price chart, the danger price level for the stock is $29 per share. I call it the danger zone since it is a price level where it has the highest risk, but also the highest reward. To describe in more detail, if the stock price breaks below $29 per share and stays there for a while, then the stock is poised to rapidly shoot down. The support level is broken and large decline is at stake. However, it may be a good price for investors to get in if the $29 support holds. Then you are essentially buying the stock at the cheapest price relatively and positioned well as you may never see the stock trade that cheaply again. However, the chances for the stock to visit $29 per share exists. It can happen, but the probability is quite low. It first needs to break the $33.25 price level support. The stock reaching this price level is more likely and I will look to buy the stock when it comes close to this price. The stock is currently trading at its 20 day moving average, which means that the stock is trading relatively at the neutral price level. There may be an opportunity when the stock trades close to the 50 day moving average, which is lower to a good potential entry price. But if you feel comfortable buying at the current stock price level of $37.50, then go right ahead. But obviously, I would feel better and more confident if I'm able to buy closer to the near support line of $33.25. My initial price target is at its all-time high of $50 per share where I will take a 50% profit and let the rest ride. So even if we were to buy today at $37 and sell it at $50 per share, that is a pretty good profit. Well, that's it for this video. I hope this was helpful for your long-term investing in hopes to reach financial freedom. Please invest safely, subscribe to the channel, and hit that like button. I thank you, appreciate you, and see you next time.